Hey Scorpios, this is your bonus message. I have been out sick, you guys. So if you haven't seen um, me posting anything on my channel, that's why. So yeah, and I also have a new setup temporarily. Uh, I had to move out of my place. Um, it's going through some renovations, so I had to move just temporarily. Um, I will be back to my usual setup in just a few days, okay? So yeah, here we go. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. What's going on with Scorpios? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on with Scorpios? Y'all, I'm just at like 80% with my my uh, voice and everything, with my health. So please excuse if you hear some sniffles, that's why. Okay? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Scorpios, messages please. Okay, something flipped. We have High Priestess here. Um, the energy of Pisces. You could be dealing with the Pisces for some of you. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on with Scorpios? What's going on with Scorpios? We have the Queen of Wands here. Ooh. Okay. And we have the Knight of Swords. Some of you, you... <laughs> I'm laughing a little because you could feel like someone is just being too immature for you. It's like, uh... This person could be very immature, okay? When it comes to a love situation, you feel like a person is just not like on your level, okay? For others of you, I'm getting that you may need to keep something that you're working on, you may need to keep it a secret, okay? You could be very ambitious with the energy of the Queen of Wands. You could be going after something, pursuing something like a project. You may need to keep those things to yourself, Okay, things could get really, really busy for you. I'm feeling like hectic energy with the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Swords over here. You could be getting ready to be extremely busy or you're busy right now. You could be doing a lot. Some of you are highly intuitive. I mean, Scorpios are intuitive anyway, but some of you are very tuned into that side of yourself. So you could be very spiritual or into spirituality in some type of way, or very religious. Some of you are very religious as well, okay? Like, you could be doing a lot right now. Manifesting, you could be, like, lighting sage, or really into crystal work, or light work. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on with Scorpios? Let's get into it. What is this high priestess energy? The Page of Swords. Okay, someone's secretly watching, okay? Queen of Swords. Okay. For some of you, it could be same-sex connection. Take it as it resonates. Doesn't have to be. Queen of Swords. Someone wanting information. Could be an Aquarius. Aquarius has their eye on you. You could be trying to get to know an Aquarius for some of you. Curious about an air sign. Ooh, okay. Okay. Show me. Show me. Queen of Swords, the star. Hangman, I feel like some of you, if you are the Queen of Swords energy, someone is watching, looking. It could be a Pisces. We have their energy here twice now with the Hangman and the High Priestess. Someone looking, watching, and I feel like they're very curious about you. They, they don't know too much about you. You have someone curious, like you've piqued someone's curiosity. Could be a king of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have a match here. We have a match. Okay. We also have three people. Two queens and now we have a king. Ah, so, <laughs> so you could feel this energy towards someone or someone is feeling this energy toward you. But you may already be in a connection with someone else. Or you may be getting to know two people at one time, okay? You may be interested in two people, okay? Which nothing is wrong with that. You're keeping your options open. Uh, some of you could be interested in the air sign and a fire sign. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's this Queen of Wands? Show me. Well, the Seven of Cups. Yeah, I feel the energy of someone fantasizing about you, wondering about you. There's a lot of energy around a fire sign or someone that is passionate here. Five of Cups is here. Ooh. 
Okay. And the seven of pentacles. Now, this could be past energy. This could be someone that you were connected to or someone that was really interested in you at one point. But maybe you chose to move on from this person or you chose to disconnect yourself. Maybe you chose to date someone over this person. You chose someone else over this person. This person is still thinking about you, still wondering about you. What's this Knight of Swords for Scorpio? Eight of Wands with the Five of Wands. <laughs> you may, let me say this, you may hear from this person or you may run into them and there may be some, some words had between you and this person. The World Card. You may not want to talk to this person that could be trying to come back or trying to see what's up with you. Do we have a retrograde coming up? Because I feel like, that energy has been in tarot for these last like few days, few weeks, like people popping back up. So we must have a retrograde coming up. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What does this person want with Scorpio? What do they want? Ten of Wands, okay. The Knight of Pentacles. So they're feeling a bit overwhelmed here. Nine of Swords. They've been thinking about you, feeling overwhelmed, wanting to talk to you. Vice versa, remember, as I always say, the stories could be flipped or reversed, put the characters where they go, if I haven't already said that. But I feel like Ten of Wands, Nine of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles, someone has been thinking about offering something or talking to you. This has been on their mind. What do they want to say? Could be a Sagittarius for some of you. Temperance. Okay, Nine of Wands. This person possibly tried to get over you. They still feel a connection here. Six of Wands. I feel, again, I feel like maybe this person, they approached, but they didn't get what they wanted. Like, I'm, what am I trying to say? Let me get my words together. It's like someone who liked you, but you didn't like them. You turn this person down and they tried to act like they weren't affected by that, but they were, and they've been thinking about it ever since. That's what I'm trying to say. How is Scorpio feeling toward this person? How is Scorpio feeling? The tower, kaboom, your energy. How is Scorpio feeling? Okay, we pulled two. Two of wands, page of wands. So... Uh, <sighs> That doesn't tell me that you want this person. That tells me that you could be thinking about it. You wouldn't mind like being friendly or cordial. But it's like, no, I'm I'm just going to keep moving on. I'm not going to look back. This could have already happened. I'm feeling like something could have already happened with you and this person. For some of you, this could be a fellow Scorpio. How is Scorpio feeling about this person? Three of Swords, yeah. So there was some type of disappointment here with you and this person. Ending, Death card, your energy. Some of you definitely dealing with another Scorpio or someone with Scorpio in their chart. Could be their rising, their moon, their big three, you know. I feel like something definitely ended. Why is Scorpio feeling this way? Whoa, what came out? <laughs> In reverse, we have the nine of pentacles in reverse. Will of fortune in reverse. Wow. So that tells me, Scorpio, you could have found out that this person was not single. You could have also found out that this person lied about their financial situation or their money in some type of way. And you don't want to move forward with this person. Something is definitely not moving forward with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I feel like with that fortune, someone could have lied about their finances, their money. Oh, could be a Gemini that you're dealing with. Lovers is here. What is this person's intentions with Scorpio? What are their intentions? Eight of Swords. Okay, to stay stuck in thought. What? 
What are their intentions? Ace of Swords, okay. Six of Cups, okay. So they're going to overthink this for a while. It's like they're stuck thinking about what happened between the two of you. Ace of Swords, but there's communication, like, or this person wants to start something again with you, Six of Cups, because they feel this connection. Ace of Wands, yeah, they feel a deep connection here, very sexual, could be a, a fellow water sign, or this person has a lot of feelings, they have a lot of feelings here, someone still has feelings, I don't care what it looks like, I don't care what they say, or how they're acting, Scorpios, Ever since something broke off or you may have moved on with your life or chosen someone else over this person, this person, it's like they're stuck there. They they can't get over the connection. Yeah. Let me come to this deck. So what does this person want to say to Scorpio? What do they want to say to Scorpios at this time? I'm smiling ear to ear. I'm smiling from ear to ear. Okay. Obsession. There we go. So you make them smile. I feel like when they secretly think about you, this uh, these obsessive thoughts of you, they start smiling. Maybe they don't want people to know or, the, you know, they don't want their friends or family to know that they're still into you. You just get me like no other. Look at that. They feel like you are the person that they're supposed to be with. And I feel like this is like a secret obsession. Did I say that at the beginning with the high priestess? Yeah, I said secretly watching you, secretly spying. High priestess with the page of swords. That did come out at the beginning. Okay, what do they want to say to Scorpio? Allow me to love you. Yeah, this is what I'm feeling, Scorpio. This person, they feel like you're loving other people or you love someone else. They wish that you would allow them to love you. Okay, allow me to love you. Like, why can't we be together? Whoa, what flew out? Look, grow old together. I feel like they fantasize and, and see a whole future with you. This person sees everything with you. But maybe things didn't work out with this person. Maybe you thought things were going to work out and it was like, okay, well... If we're not going to be together, well, I'm going to just move on to other options, you know. But there's something about you this person can't shake. Let's get one more. You are so very special to me. Yeah. I feel like this person feels like this is a special bond that the two of you have. And I, when I see that obsession card, I feel like more so like loving obsession. <laughs> Scorpios, you would get that. You would understand what I'm saying. Because people would be like, how is that loving? But, you know, it's like when a person is all you can think about and you just want to love on them. You just want to be with them. You want to grow old with them. They got you smiling from ear to ear. They feel like you get them like no other. They're, you are so very special to them. Like That's like obsessive thoughts that this person is having. At the bottom of the deck, our age gap means nothing. There could be a major age gap between the two of you as well. And that could be a reason why you didn't want to be with this person. You may feel like they're too young, too immature. Yeah. Who is this person? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Let's go to this deck. Who is this person Scorpios are dealing with? Who is this person who's secretly watching, spying, obsessed? Who is this person? Could be an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They could come off with earth sign energy. They could have this in their chart. Who is this person? It could be a Sagittarius for some of you. Who is this person? Who is this person who is obsessed with Scorpio? Could be an Aquarius for some of you. I said that at the beginning. Pluto could be a fellow Scorpio. I'm feeling someone very mysterious. Someone does not show you a lot. This could be a very mysterious type person. Okay? With the energy of Pluto, that's your energy, Scorpios. So it's someone similar to you. Someone who spies. Someone who is good at, like, 
getting information, but on the low, just think of yourself, okay? Someone around you who's kind of like you, who kind of looks at people with a squinted eye. I feel that energy like... <laughs> This could be a person who's like a human lie detector, like very spiritual, very deep, very mysterious. This person could come off as like a loner or like they don't hang around a lot of people. I feel that energy as well. One more. Anything else? Okay. Not the whole deck. <laughs> who is this person <laughs> for Scorpios? Who is this person? We have a Taurus. Yeah, it could be a Taurus. Fire at the bottom of the deck. Someone very passionate, I feel. When I get this, you yeah, got sun and fire. Yeah, I feel like someone very passionate. They may speak very passionately as well or be very charming. Yeah, what's going on in this connection? Let me come to this deck. What's going on in this connection with Scorpio and this person? Religious factors. Yeah, remember I was saying uh, you could be very religious, <laughs> I feel like there could have been something that tied the two of you together. Like you both believe in spirituality or you both are, you know, into, you know, crystals or light work or tarot. Like there's something that brings the two of you together or that made you very drawn to this person or them drawn to you. Playfulness. Yeah. Very playful energy. That's all I was saying. This person could be very charming charming energy. I feel like the two of you may need to be more playful, flirtatious with each other. They may come off very playful, but unrequited. I, uh, unrequited means one-sided love. So it's that feeling again, Scorpio. I'm telling you, I feel like you chose someone else over this person, or you may feel like you get along with them, like generally speaking, but you may also feel like, uh, I don't know about the love aspect. You know how you can have a connection with someone, but that doesn't mean that it's a romantic connection. You may feel connected to this person like as a friend or yeah, you know what? Hey, you're cool. You know, you real cool. But as the love of my life, it's a no. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so that's the energy that I'm getting. Okay, Scorpios, what's the advice for Scorpios? Advice? Advice for Scorpios in this connection, this situation with this person? If you believe. Yeah. Some of you don't believe that this could turn into something. If you believe it can be something, <laughs> you have to take action on it though. So that's up to you. You have to take action if you want something to come of it and just wait. Once you take that action and then wait and see what this person does, okay? Now, for the cross watcher dealing with the Scorpio, if you believe, take action because Scorpios like when you take action, okay? They, they like when someone pursues them and really shows that they want them, if you know anything about Scorpio energy. And then wait and see what Scorpio does. Now, if they choose to move on, they choose to move on, okay? Alrighty, you guys, that is your energy, Scorpios. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. Again, thank you so much for being patient and waiting. Like I said, your girl has been going through a lot lately. <laughs> Still trying to get well um, and in the process of a lot of renovations and things with my apartment building. So thank you guys for tuning in so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.